first people took the old waterfall uh, uh, process, which was very, uh, it took a lot of time. It, it was very like uh, uh, rigid and, and made it uh, what they call flexible and fast. So now we have these DevOps uh, teams that are working very, very fast. And the system is like every few hours have a new uh, install. The next level of DevOps will be that not only we will install the product all the way through until production, but we will be able to see exactly what happened on each of these steps, find exactly before we get into production, what are the risky changes that are about to enter my production system and stop this, uh, uh, the, this uh, deployment before it reaches production. Another interesting thing that you can do uh, in the future of DevOps is to take and do some predictive analytics. For example, you take all the changes that happen in your QA system and you virtually deploy them onto your production system. And now you can assess the risk of these changes that did not happen in production and see what's going on in production, what will happen in production. Are all these changes comply with all the production uh, uh, policies that I have? Are all these changes comply with the other production server from a consistency point of view in my system? Can I do this or not? Using the ability to take the data from one point and virtually deploy it to another point gives you this predictive analytics. And once you have predictive analytics, your life will be better. Again, why? Because you will not need to suffer from a defective deployment on your production. You can stop it earlier. <music>